All right, everybody, next up in our handstand progression. So we've been doing these uh, supported seated variations where we start to introduce our palm and our hand and our wrist into the loading component of doing a handstand. But we don't just throw all of our body weight right on there because that doesn't make any sense. There's no progression there. It doesn't just happen overnight. Um, the next way that we can progress these now we've done some supported variations where our butt stays in contact with a chair or a couch in this case and on the ground now we're going to pick that butt up off the ground so this is how we are introducing more force into our hands and wrists and elbows and shoulders and blah 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 blah, blah, blah. now it's the same setup though. So if you've done the supported variations, you've already practiced these unsupported variations. I exhale and I just tuck my tailbone. I get up tall like this and then I'm pushing down and all of this we've already done before. This is already a, a supported short seated abs. Now what I'm doing is I'm just pushing further. So now my butt is not on the ground. I feel a little bit of pressure because this is a cushion, but the force that is going through my arms and abs is a lot more. And again, same principles apply. We're not crunching like this. Try to resist that urge. And I'm trying to make sure that my head stays up tall to help me with that. Make sure your lower rib cage doesn't go forward like this. We gotta keep it set back so that our upper back can expand. That is getting challenging, so I'm going to stop. Um, so that is the unsupported short seated abs.